back to Smart Math Beauty. I'm Heather, and this is my sister Holly, and it's cold outside. I know, right? I know, so we've got our little coats on. Okay, what, <laughs> how cute is my coat? So cute. It is so cute, it's new this year. I know it is. I know, I it was when from, you got this. It was like, I bought it this summer when it was like a million degrees out, and it's from um, Nordstrom. Yeah. It was, their, it was like some sale they had in the summer for fall stuff, and it's like, Usually, you know, the stuff that's on sale is for the current season or the past season. Anyway, I bought the cute coats by Steve Madden. And but wasn't this inspired by cute. Lisa Lucidy one? No, it was like, this is like my inner Carrie Bradshaw. Oh. See, I thought like, Lisa Lucidy one like, got a winter fur. coat. Oh, okay. No, I had mine before her. Sorry, Lisa. I mean, okay. So what are we talking anyway, about today? We are all bundled up because I woke up this morning, I looked at my phone, it was like 28 degrees. Okay. And so we're here to talk about how do you transition into winter and your your skin and how we can tolerate that because it's we live in Louisville, Kentucky, and it gets really cold. But and I think in windy, but the worst part about it being cold is that we have very high humidity, so it makes the wind chill factor extremely cold. Cold. It feels colder, so. 28 degrees in Louisville, Kentucky, because it's damp here all the time, feels different than 28 degrees in, in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. It's yes. two totally different Very things, different. and it's just blankety blank cold here all winter, and I hate it. Like, I hate it. Well, hate but it wreaks havoc on our skin and our hair. Exactly. And so we're going to talk about a few tips and tricks on how you can brave the cold. Cute little jacket. First tip yeah, number first one. Tip is you have cute. to be cute. I mean, because if you're not cute, then you're really going to feel like crap. And if you've got like, you know, lizard looking skin, then you can distract with the jacket and false eyelashes. But if you have lizard looking skin, okay, so can we talk about, okay. My number one beat the winter beauty mm -hmm. essential, seriously, when you're in the car, turn it to the floor. Oh my God, Holly. You're like, Do you not don't have know it blowing you, on your You face. don't know, my boyfriend. I love him dearly. Love him dearly. Uh, and we've been together almost 10 years. And I will tell you, he still does not know. Okay. In the summer, knows. the air conditioner can be blowing up the, the, from the vents coming this way. From the car. From the car. In the winter, it is only acceptable for it to be like defogging the front windshield or on the floor only ever don't I don't blow, hot, don't air blow my hot air in my face first of all it ever. dries out my nose it dries out my, my eyes and my then your eyes are watering my contact and then you have suction oh themselves my to my eyeballs so, listen and then not to mention my skin seriously like lizard face you get out of the car and you have lizard face and you're trying to be cute and like you're all pucker yeah i know my boy oh my god no well my man doesn't and it is a it is a constant fight it is a constant fight in my car and in his car like I get in and I flip it because he's got it blowing hot like on his face. I'm like, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? It has to be on the floor. That is my number one <sighs> winter survival skincare tip. It's number Don't one. Don't blow hot air in your face. No more hot air. In no the more face. hot air. In you your can face. get warm if it's, if, it's if my the feet are warm, then my body's That's warm. That's absolutely exactly. true. Exactly. Absolutely. If my true. feet are cold, I'm I'm cold I'm all over. Right. Okay. So that was number what? one. That was like <laughs> really heated. Now, I mean, like, listen. I can't, like, <laughs> It makes me so now mad. Now listen, if you have a boyfriend like that, then step number two really sweet, though. must be exfoliate. Yeah, I mean like exfoliating Even maniac. more so, like maniac. Like your whole body. Whole body. But yeah. we're going to focus on the, on, the, on the face right now because we don't want lizard face. I have two ways that I exfoliate. Mm -hmm. So what are they? Do you know what they are? I, I'm assuming based on the arsenal of stuff that's in before us is that you use what I use, which yes. is the... Botonics Microderm Abrasion Polish Age Defense. Whew. This is, um, yeah, this is actually a UK brand, but um, for us here, we, we can buy this at Target. Um, or I'm sure you can get it online, but we, we can are successful to buy it at Target. It's like $12.99 worth every penny. And it is basically like rubbing wet sand on your face. It's really great. But in a good way. Like, in a good way. Now, how to go in a little extra mile with this is you're going to take your makeup off. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, I would say I apply this to wet skin and then buff it around. Yeah, yeah. Just to go with that little extra mile, like if, you, if you've had the hot air blown on your face, <laughs> is to put this on dry. 
So I would take off my eye makeup, like with the little makeup remover uh, wipey, and then I would go gently right at this. Gently. If I have some Avoid very the dry, eye area. scaly patches on my mm -hmm. cheeks, I have been known to go straight at that dry and then add water after I've done a little bit of buffing. I think we need to back up and say that we both have dry skin. Okay. Because we're, we're over 40. We're dry, well, I mean, we're, yes, we're, uh, thank you. Oh, okay. We're over 40, but we, I mean, that I have like, no secret. like ridiculously dry skin. So even though, um, some of our friends on YouTube that say that they exfoliate like once a week, I'm, I'm burning this up daily, yeah. like for real, yeah. like daily because my skin is so dry. And if I don't, then applying moisturizer, it like, it does not sink in. And then they like, try to put makeup on. Next thing you know, you got a paste. Right. Right. Because you can't moisturize the skin cells that have already come to the surface and died. Right. You've got to get those off. Or and I just... use this on my hands too in the wintertime. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. And I try to do this, um, also on my man's hands because right. again, and it's he's because he's driving around with like hot air going <laughs> on his face and on his hands. <laughs> And then we he wonders why he, this. we will. This is okay for men right. too. Men, if you're watching, we love you too. And you need to have some of this stuff. It's okay. Okay. Heat on your feet. <laughs> Heat on your feet. Not in your face. <laughs> we don't like it on our face. Okay. To take it up a notch. This is a kind of in the same line of that Clarisonic. But this is by... Um, Olay. Actually, my friend Heather gave this to me. Oh. I have a sister Heather and then a friend Heather, so I always have to like That's announce. Special. But y'all are very special. Actually, very I, I use this in the shower. I'll have this up up in my shower, and I'll just use this about once a week, kind of in conjunction with this. But I use this just alone. I just use this with. You water. don't use it with a cleanser. I mean, you can. I don't because I'm lazy in the shower. Okay. And I don't like to put like body soap on my face. Because I feel like body no, no, I a mean like dry. with your face cleanser. No. Okay. I use this in the shower. It's in the shower. It's in the shower. So once a week, I like buff my face with this, but only in the winter. I don't feel like I need this in the summer. That's cool. So I'm just kind of sharing how I extra step exfoliate for the winter. I appreciate that. So after you have exfoliated, then you want to moisturize immediately, immediately and right. well. Well, you want to put a face serum on, okay? But uh, we really want to just double up heavy moisture. And I, I don't have like, a face serum. Like, what kind of face serum? Am I? Vitamin C. With oh, vitamin C. Yeah. oh, okay. Vitamin C. Oh, okay. No, I do have that. Never mind. Vitamin um, C to help repair. Okay. And hyaluronic acid acid to to boost. Okay. But then after that gets soaked in, you've got to have some sort of crazy moisturizer, at least to layer it on to go to bed. Okay. Like we're so we're talking PM moisturizer, which is like. Big tub of stuff. Oh, that's like the tub of gum. Yeah. No, I have I had like this. You. It's awesome. I've had it for like six months. It's by Sarah V. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know why there's a hair in it. Seriously. It is awesome though. It is, it is wonderful. So I just kind of gunk this on and go to bed. It's awesome. Till so you're like all greased up. Yeah. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> but don't you use Sarah V also? No, I do. I use, well, I mean, this is more, is I think is lighter weight than, I probably need to get that for, for nighttime. You do need to get that. Because I use this winter. The, during the day. This is a CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin. And I wear this daily under my makeup. Yeah, and this is the cream. So it's kind of rule of thumb, lotion under makeup for AM and cream alone for nighttime. In the evening. Okay. And then do you put something on your lips to go to bed as well? I do. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, I get up in the morning and I go to work and I'm wearing lip gloss or lipstick or combination of both. But when I get dried out, I always carry Carmex in my purse. And I have one at home, like on the coffee table, little basket of junk Yeah. Um, that I use because I go outside of the lip line. Yes. And I get like, because I just, I get parched and I can't even yeah. deal. And do this before you go to bed or right. when you're at home alone or after you exfoliate. Just gunk it on. Right. But I mean, a word of warning, once you gunk up your face and you gunk up your lips and then your cat <laughs> decides it's a great time to headbutt you, oh. I mean, it will pull off cat hair. Okay. You just will. And then you're left with some kind of which is probably situation. Why, right. Which is probably why you should avoid um, what I'm about to show. I use this on my lips. These are... Um, 
they're from Young Living and they have essential oils in them. They smell so good. So you will want to avoid. Are those lip balm? Yes. Lip balm? These are my lip, my uh, chapsticks. One of my clients gave these to me and uh, they are wonderful. Who's I keep this one in my purse and one uh, by my bed. One is vanilla mint. So, but Heather should avoid these because that's going to attract more kitten uh, investigation to her. Oh, this smells like a, um, one of those Andy's uh, chocolate. Yes. Mint, yes. Things they give you at like a re fancy restaurant, like. And this one's the cinnamon. Who? I don't know. Like, yeah, I think they're it. really, really good. So I, I, oh, I don't know why I don't use that Carmex. Oh my I gosh, it's like, better. Oh, it kind of you're right. It kind of clears. It kind of clears. Yeah. Oh, it's I was awesome. like, purpose there. So this is what I use before I go to bed. These two. Okay. Really good. So, okay. you know what we forgot. No. To talk about. You have For to real. drink more water if you're over 40 in the winter. Okay, so there's that. So should we talk like about our hands? Water. Honey, let me tell you something about my hands. My hands are so dry. And, you know, I, I wash my hands a lot. Um, okay. Um, Alright. I do. I, I have very dry hands. I have very, very dry hands year-round. And one of the, the first beauty people that I watched on YouTube was Tiffany D and she turned me on to this, to this hand food. And it was before I could find it anywhere here in the stores and I ordered it online because it is a UK, it's by Soap, Soap and Glory, yes. if I failed to mention that, which is a UK brand. I mean, it's that fabulous stuff. It is so I much I love fun. this whole line, it's fabulous. But if you get nothing else, if the, if the only thing you get out of this line is the hand food, you will be one happy camper. It is Thick. It's hydrated Very hand thick. cream with shea butter, macadamia oil, and marshmallow. I mean, who doesn't want marshmallow yeah. in there? Okay. Yeah. But you can find and this it's at wonderful. Sephora now, though, you right? You can get... Uh, no, actually. They have stopped carrying this at Sephora, but I saw it um, last night at Ulta. Oh. Um, but okay. I ordered this That's on Amazon because, hello, it's Amazon. It's Amazon. Um, but, and I think they also carry this in the United States at Walgreens, but not in the store. Yes. It's very irritating. Yes. Because this is a fabulous line yes. and it should be carried well, uh, everywhere. But um, this is wonderful. I keep this in my purse and um, use it every time I wash my hand. It's wonderful. It does feel good. You get good. it in your cuticles and stuff yeah. and it's, I love it. It does feel good. That's See, I, I, how much was that? Do you, do you have a price um, point? This one is the, what size is this? This is the 4.2 fluid ounces and I think uh, this might have been eight something. Okay, that's not bad. That's I, not I bad. really can't remember, but I'll, I'll put the link down below. Because if there's also a smaller one, too, that I started to get. I can't remember. I can't remember the price, but I'll put it down below. But it's, it's worth it. And it doesn't leave your hands all, like, mega greasy. Like, I can put this on, and, like, within a few minutes, I can use my keyboard at work. I put my hand on my mouse. I can do different things. Right. So. Steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah. See, I have a problem. I, because I'm constant, my hands are constantly in water. I would say once an hour, my hands are back in the shampoo bowl. So I don't invest in really good high quality hand cream because if I put it on within an hour, I'm, I'm going to have my hands back in the water. Well, and you can't have your hands slippery because you're like using right. like scissors. Right. You can't do that. So I actually just go for the pretty cheap stuff. I get a big O jug, Vaseline Intensive Care, keep this by my bed. I keep one in the hair salon and between clients or if I feel like I need it, I will kind of get a little squirt of that. But honestly, I go for the cheap stuff because it doesn't have time to sink in to my hand before I have to wet them again. Yeah. So I kind of just go with this. occupational it, hazard. It, right, right. But I, it, it works. I like it. The, right. the bonus though of, you know, having my hands also be in high quality shampoo, high quality conditioner, high quality hair products, which kind of leads me to, should I show a hair product? Sure. My number one holy grail for winter timing or winterization your hair, winter proof your hair. We're going to get that worked out. Have you ever heard of this? Yeah, I had some. It's like a million dollars. It's like mega expensive. It I mean, is I'm sorry. mega expensive. It's from, it's a 10. Like half the size of that is like $30 at, at Target. I'm just saying. Actually, I think I got it at Kroger and it was like 23. Anyway, it is Excuse worth me. it. And even if you only have to get it in the winter months, like, you know, 
December, January, February or something like that. It is wonderful. It is a leave-in treatment. And I like the one that says silk. There's a blue bottle one that's oh, just the blue bottle. The blue bottle. Not, not as good. Oh. It has to be the purple bottle. It oh. does look similar, but it has to say the word silk on it. Not only does it feel so good to my hands, it smells good. Here, you want to smell? Well, how do you use this? Smell that. It, it just smells good. Oh, I don't hate that. It feels good. So the way I use it is I put it in everybody's hair when it's wet. So I actually... Oh my God, that's not your... Is that like your secret? I am sharing with you all the secret. So this is what I spray in everybody's hair when they're when it's wet, and I comb it through, and then I hide the bottle. I don't feel like she anybody... doesn't even let you see the bottle. Like when I leave here, when she does my hair, I have like the hair of life. Right. And then and I go home mad. and I wash it, and like it looks like complete dog. And I'm like, what? What are you using in my hair? Like, what is the secret weapon? Is this the secret weapon? I had her. I had her convinced that when you graduate from hair school, you get this secret formula to make everybody's hair look better leaving the hair salon than they do at home. Yeah, I had her right to justify that. the exorbitant price I of having your. I understand that. Okay, but this is everybody can get this. It's at Kroger. It's at. Uh, it's at Target. Local, it's at Target. Yeah. Look, sometimes you can even find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It is wonderful, but you have to go with the silk. Okay, and it's leave-in, so you put it in wet. You can cocktail other hair products and over it, um, and then blow dry your hair. Okay. So that's our wintertime tips. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it is just moisturize. Oh, and your body, like like I shave, and that helps exfoliate my legs yes. too. Um, but then you have to immediately go back on. You with need the to moisturize, and you need to moisturize. So, I, and I, even though I have like mega dry skin, I insist on taking like a boiling hot bath every night. I know, and I know, and I know it strips my skin, but I'm pretty fanatical about the moisturizing, so. You are better at it than I am. I well, I mean, you just, you just have to do it. And so, I think really if, if I can get my man to keep the heat, the heat on my feet. And then lots of water. Yeah, I think we'll really be okay this winter. Oh, I think it'll be okay. And you're cute in your coat. And very cute in my coat. Right. I mean, I'm not even going to lie. Right, I know. So, right. Oh, you know, we should totally talk about and do we think about it because it's at home and you may just have to cut this out of the video because we don't have it, it with us. Is <laughs> we should do a video about hat hair in the winter. We don't wear hats. No, for real. No, okay, Little Miss works from home, doesn't ever bring her car out. Okay, I, on the other hand, park on the, on the blankety blank street. And I have to go out in the morning and I have to shovel my car out. Oh, I don't do so that. So I do have to wear a hat. Yeah. And so we need to talk about like hat fashion. I have it right now. I have the remedy for hat head right now. Is it the messy bun? It's called earmuffs. No, because like it's, I just need my toboggan. I bought a really cute toboggan. It's at home though that goes with this. We'll, we'll do something different. Or maybe just on Instagram. You should follow us on Instagram because it's way fun. We're we going to post a photo. We are going to post a photo. In fact, I think I did post a photo when I was in Detroit. Now we're rambling on. So it was good to see you all. We hope that you stay warm this winter. And leave us your tips down below. We want to know how you survive the cold and the dry and the stupid. And um, just let us know how you stay warm until it's time and to cute. thaw out and cute. Okay. So <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Are you taking this home? No, but I'm like that I'm gonna go take a loan out from the bank and go buy one. I will give you one. No, why are you gonna give me one? Okay, you, for my birthday. Happy oh, birthday. It's like half used. <laughs> That's stupid. It doesn't look like a bath mat or a house coat. Oh, what would Mrs. Robert wear? <laughs> I don't know, but she was very stylish. She was very stylish. I could have done a little something different to her hair, but. <laughs> it's like she had the Tony perm. I know, right? Yeah. From the 70s. Your lips are glossy. I know. Because I like slip on my lip, remember? Oh, I know. <laughs> So, to kick this up an extra step for winter, because we're moving right along, I add this. Now this is, I know. <laughs> what you got there? What is that? 
Is it battery operated? What you got there? We're gonna pause for Paul to edit all of that out. As so, a hairdresser, why don't you tell us what do we do for our hair? Well, that's not on, next on the list. Oh, it's not next on the list. I failed to look at the list. So we have to exfoliate our skin, and now we have to moisturize our skin. So let's talk more. Okay. We just talked about exfoliation. Well, speaking of moisturizing, I for well, it's not next on the list. Okay. Well, I just can't. I can't freely speak. <laughs> let's let's try this again.